As we get older and our parents get older, a lot of times getting around in and outside of the house can be a little more challenging. Mobility at home provides an affordable alternative for those of us who may need ramps, lifts, or even just daily living aids. The owners of that company, Kyle and Lori Williams, are here to chat with us and tell us a little bit more. Good morning to you both. Mobility at home, just what it sounds like. <coughs> But you were telling me before we went on the air, it's not just things inside the house. You also do outside assistance as well. Fill us in. We do um, any kind of ramping needs that you may have outside, whether it's just a small threshold ramp to get up to your doorway mm -hmm. or if it's a full uh, modular ramp to um, get into your home, which would be you know several feet. Right. Um, we rent those. You um, rent those, not just purchase, but you also have the option to rent them. Some people have short-term injuries. Mm -hmm. um, some people need to make sure that they can make it at home, so we do provide that option. We also build wooden ramps. Mm -hmm. So any kind of ramping need, whether it's temporary, portable, uh, permanent. And that's where Mike comes in. He's the contractor. So you're the brains and he's the, <laughs> the, the, the muscle behind putting all this together. What are some of the things, Mike, that you can do inside the house? Um, we can do anything from uh, hanging and grab bars mm -hmm. just in, for somebody getting in out of the tub to be safe to widen doorways to make sure they can get their chair through to a full-blown renovation. I would think a lot of the renovations you do are have got to be in homes that aren't necessarily up to code anyway. And the codes have got specifics in there for just such an eventuality. But a lot of these homes that were built ages ago, they're, just not, they're not comfortable for folks who don't need help. Much Correct. less those who do. Um, what's involved in widening a door frame out? It's just pulling the casing out, you know, it's according to what, what, what we have, we just widen the door out to, we try to get to a 36 wide door that's, that's right. to code, you know, most a lot of the older homes still have the 28s and 24s in them. And the 36 will easily accommodate even a uh, extra large wheelchair. Correct. All right, I think we've got some video that we're going to show you of some of the renovations that are available to you and to your parents. Um, what is the biggest thing that you're seeing? the need for nowadays? I think the biggest thing is stair lifts. Just because of the area we live in, mm -hmm. there's a lot of houses that are built on the hill. There's a lot of houses with basements. People need to be able to get to their garage, up to their house. So stair lifts is a really affordable option to be able to use and access the rest of your home. And these renovations are not as expensive as what you would think. No. Not at all. Um, they are much more affordable. Um, then you would think uh, an average stair lift starts out around $3,000 mm -hmm. installed. So to be able to use, say you have bedrooms on the second floor, to be able to use that part of your house instead right. of moving, um, you know, people want to stay where their stuff is and where their memories sure. are, where, where they've grown up. Is it fair to say renovations like this add resale value to your home if you maybe a short term like you were talking about a moment ago or even a long term? That's got to add uh, a few dollars onto the sale price if you ever decide to actually part with the house, correct? It does. It does. Uh, we, uh, we see a lot of people, you know, moving and, and it does add value to the homes because mm -hmm. um, other people are looking, they want accessible homes as well. And you guys are husband and wife, so you know from the family point of view how important it is when you're talking to other customers, because it's rarely just one. You guys are generally talking with the family. Yes. And as a family unit yourself, that must be pretty good help. It is. We both have uh, aging parents so mm -hmm. um, and aging grandparents, so we've lived it. We've, we've been there. Um, and, and the renovations we do are not just for... Um, aging parents. They're also for, you know, sometimes we're weekend warriors and go sure. out and have an accident and the bathrooms look just like regular bathrooms and they do add that resale value to your home. And you were telling me that you're also a uh, master's in social work. I so am. you know how to talk with the folks and a lot of times it's a psychological thing. They don't want to add this to their home because they're, they're, that's another sign of impending morality so anyway you guys are great we appreciate you coming down and sharing uh, some of your pictures you've got a place out on Brainerd Road where we can come take a look correct it's East Brainerd Road right? East Brainerd Road I'm sorry it's <laughs> at 6307 East Brainerd Road stop by and say hello to Kyle and Lori Williams mobility at home there's the number the website mobility at home tn.com